So this is one of the best parts of my job. A promotion recognizes a soldier's demonstrated ability to perform at the next higher rank, and it also recognizes the potential for a soldier to perform at even higher levels. A chance to promote soldiers, officers, or NCOs, knowing they are ready to shoulder more of the task and to do their, continue their service in positions of increased responsibility is an incredible privilege. Attaining journal officer rank is very rare and a very special achievement. Less than 1% of career officers are promoted to flag rank. To put it in perspective, a promotion to Brigadier General is the equivalent of being promoted to the senior vice president of one of the largest companies in the United States. Mike, your promotion to Brigadier General is a testament to your leadership, your professionalism, and com commitment to excellence. Congratulations. It would be impossible to share all of Mike's accomplishments and achievements of his 28 year history in the short time that we have here today. But I'd like to share at least some of them with you. Mike's journey to this point in his life has been a long road with more than a couple of twists and turns in it. Let's take a look at how we came to be gathered here today. First of all, Mike comes from a military family. Both his mother and his father were United States Marines. It's not only through their love and support, but also their example of selfless service that has made Mike the tremendous officer that he is. Mike began his military career as an ROTC cadet from Ferrum College in Virginia and was commissioned an armor officer stationed in Fort Lewis, Washington. He later commanded a tank company and a headquarters company of an armor battalion in Germany and also during the battalion's deployment to Operation Desert Storm in the Persian Gulf. Fort Lewis is where he joined the Acquisition Corps upon his return from Germany and where he served in his first contingency contracting assignment, which proved to be a sweet spot in the beginning of more than 19 years of service in Department of Defense in a variety of contracting assignments. Mike has deployed as a contingency contracting officer and a team leader three times in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom and six times to Southeast Asia in support of a myriad of Pacific missions. Wow, that's a lot of time away from family. Mike has served at virtually every level of command in the contracting business, including commander, executive officer, and program director at several defense contract administration or management agency organizations. He served as an analysis, as an analyst and a staff officer on the Army staff and, of course, was the commander of our 413th Contracting Support Brigade in the Pacific. And most recently, as the director, the first director, of Operational Contract Support and Services Division on the Joint Staff of the Pentagon. It was in this last assignment that Mike played a special and very unique role in helping shape the future of defense contracting. He was one of the architects of our annual Operational Contract Support, support Joint Exercise, which over the last five years has provided thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines, and military reservists, members of the Army National Guard, and DOD civilians with the training, tools, and the confidence needed to succeed while deployed in support of any contingency operation or natural disaster. As a result of Mike's efforts, our national DOD leaders have decided to institutionalize these OCSJX exercises and fund them at the Department of Defense level. Mike, you have had a huge impact on Army contracting, serving as our advocate on the Joint Staff and increasing senior military and civilian leader understanding of operational contract support. You have indeed made a difference. A su successful career in the Army is much larger than the soldier. It involves the entire family. The foundation of Mike's career was molded by his parents. And as I mentioned, both his mom and dad were Marines. While his mom left the Corps to raise a family, which is by far a tougher job than any of the Marine Corps, his dad continued in the Marine Corps and had a distinguished military career, retiring as a Master Gunnery Sergeant. Mike, I know they're proudly looking down today and rendering their congratulatory salutes. Without with that foundation, Mike credits his wife, Debbie, and their daughters, Avery and Michelle, for serving as his moral compass and North Star in navigating the many challenges of his military career. 
Debbie as partner in command, in addition to raising their daughters, has made caring for soldiers and their families her top priority. While Mike was deployed numerous times, Debbie and the girls kept the home fires burning for many Army families. Thank you, ladies, for your service and dedication to our nation. I know that Mike's flawless, selfless service to his country is due in no small part to your service and your sacrifices. Let's give you a round of applause. Now, as Mike and Debbie settle into their new surroundings here in Huntsville, they plan to continue their active participation in Habitat for Humanity by helping build and remodel homes for those less fortunate. And Mike and Debbie, as we're still working on the punch list for our new headquarters, maybe I can recruit you all to help uh, finish that up. Mike, we're very proud of you, and we look forward to your continued success at one of our, as one of our Army's senior leaders. This promotion is well deserved, and we all wish you and your family the very best as you enter the general officer ranks. Now let's replace those eagles with your first star. Army Strong. <laughs>